welcome to this edition of North Penn News. I'm Justine Ye. And I'm Melissa Cubitt. In our first story... The North Penn girls swimming and diving team had a successful weekend at the state championships. All of their relay teams placed third and several girls placed in their individual events as well. The North Penn boys swimming and diving team also competed at the state championships and earned ninth place. The girls' basketball team played a tough game against Westchester Ruston on the Friday night in the state quarterfinals. Westchester Ruston came out on top with a final score of 55-40, but the girls had a great season overall. Congratulations to all teams who represented North Penn at the state level over the weekend. An exciting event took place at the high school this past Friday. North Penn News reporter Rebecca Rosenblatt has more. North Penn SGA held the annual talent show with more than 700 people in attendance in mid-March. Students performed original songs and dance routines, as well as showing off instrumental talent. During a musical performance by last year's winner, Kuhu Verma, audience members voted on their favorite act of the night. Coming in third was the KACS crew, second was Paul Beck, Neil Goh, Eric Ahn, and coming in first place was White Noise, in which students Christina Stidham, Jacob Gallo, Chelsea Aubert, Anthony Cubbage, and Vince Recco sang an a cappella medley of Daft Punk songs. Congratulations to White Noise, other performers, and SGA for holding a successful talent show. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. The North Penn High School Key Club took Harrisburg by storm over the weekend. The club won first place for the most service hours in the state with 7,841.2 hours as well as other prestigious awards. Many North Penn officers were recognized as distinguished officers. Nikita Kulkarni was named the new Lieutenant Governor and will replace Christopher Connell next year. Congratulations to the NPHS Key Club for all of their accomplishments this past weekend. Second grade students from Inglewood Elementary School recently held their annual Living History Museum. Find out more. Hi, I'm Mrs. Clark Hubbard, Inglewood Elementary School. Uh, welcome to our annual Living History Museum. I teach grade two and today our students are giving the performance of their lives. The students had to do a research uh, project and they had their person in which they were researching information on. They did most of the work in class with the teachers. We had computers, they were doing the researching. We did lessons on paraphrasing, how to make something into your own words. They worked extremely hard. The bottom line is to learn about famous people who have made great contributions to our nation. I hope that they have gained insightful information that they will carry from here on forward and letting them know that they too can be as famous as the person in which they researched. One of the biggest events for North Penn seniors took place in mid-March. Take a look. North Penn seniors recently had the time of their lives in the happiest place on earth. Students spent four days at Disney World in Orlando, Florida for their class trip. They visited the various parks, went to medieval times, participated in relay races at their hotel, and much more. Disney is 187% worth it, and you get to hang out with a bunch of cool cats in the greatest place Disney. Disney is absolutely worth it. And our favorite part is taking Aladdin to find his Princess Jasmine. My favorite part of Disney was the weather. My favorite part of Disney was the magic. The trip was a wonderful memory of senior year. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Melissa Cubitt. Pembroke Middle and Local Law Enforcement held an augmented intruder drill last week. Families were notified about the drill that included Upper Gwynedd, Montgomery, and North Wales Police Departments. The officers simulated a lockdown of the building due to an intruder and a partial evacuation of the building. Students and staff typically practice lockdown procedures, so the drill added the need to follow police instructions after the initial lockdown. Officers simulated clearing the building and evacuating part of the building. Basically what we had was an all intruder drill uh, in which if a subject came in or even a natural disaster or there was a gas explosion, 
that the police could respond, emergency personnel could respond, coordinate with school personnel, and evacuate the children effectively. You've seen, you know, after Sandy Hook, New Jersey, or Sandy Hook, uh, Connecticut, uh, you know, there's been a lot of school incidents, and we just want the staff to uh, to be ready for something like this. Unfortunately, this is, uh, you know, this is happening all over the country, and uh, we want to make sure the North Penn School District is, is ready and is ready to work with the police departments in these incidents. North Penn School District continues to drill for all types of emergencies in coordination with local police, fire, and first responders. In a special community forum in early March, parents wishing to learn more about the assessments their children will be taking got a chance to ask directors of school departments pressing questions. Focusing on state-administered tests like Keystones for high school students and Dibble tests for elementary school students, parents watched a presentation led by Superintendent Dr. Kurt Dietrich. After this presentation, parents were able to ask a panel of directors questions regarding stress factors and teacher involvement in a student's improvement. If you missed the forum, you can watch this and all of our programming on youtube.com backslash NPTV. Students learned all about different colleges and prospective options at North Penn's annual college fair. Bill Travers, head of the North Penn High School Guidance Department. So the idea of a college fair is to bring students and colleges together on a, a single evening you can bring like 120 schools and all levels of higher education together, including the military, and you have an opportunity to have students get a chance to network, talk, gather information. Now what we did this year in conjunction with the Alumni Association, put together a mini career fair where we've got distinguished North Penn alums in a variety of fields. They're here to talk to our students and their families of one, how they got in that career, and what were they doing like in terms of the selection of schools and majors. So for me, this is like a win-win night. The North Penn School District has released the dates of the 2014 Extended School Care Summer Camp. The camp includes seven sessions that will run from June 23rd to August 8th and will be held from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Children completing kindergarten through sixth grade can attend. The program will include breakfast, lunch, arts and crafts, sports, games, and a weekly field trip and swim. Registration begins on March 17th from 4 to 7.30 p.m. and continues Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the Educational Services Center in Lansdale. Information about pricing and camp dates and themes can be found on your screen or at www.npen.org. Space is limited, so be sure to register your child now. North Penn High School football players visited elementary schools to instill a love of reading in children. Take a look. Bubba. Hi, I'm Cheryl Newbert, and I'm the coordinator for the Reading Super Bowl here in the North Penn School District. This is our 10th year for the Reading Super Bowl, and this year, 80 boys of the North Penn football team are going out and reading to 234 classrooms in the North Penn School District to a total of 5,500 students. They go out and read books to each elementary school, and to each of the students, they hand sports cards after they finish reading that have their team stats, or if they're a senior, they actually have an action shot. Well, the purpose of the Reading Super Bowl is to foster a love of reading in our students in the district. It sets our football players up as role models for literacy as they go out and read to the elementary school students. Today was just a great experience. Uh, the little kids really look up to us like uh, we're heroes or something, but we're just regular high school kids. and. Uh, it's just great to come here and be, be role models for them. This is really a great event, and with it being the 10th year, it's, it's been 10 wonderful years of literacy for the kids, and we look forward to many more going on just like today. For football. Football! <laughs> Due to the multitude of snow days this year, the North Penn School District has made additional changes to the 2013-2014 school calendar. On your screen, you will see information regarding these changes. The following days are now instructional days for all students. Monday, March 31st, Wednesday, April 16th, Thursday, April 17th, Monday, April 21st, Tuesday, May 20th, and Wednesday, June 18th. Please log on to the school district's website, npen.org, to see all of the changes to the instructional calendar. The North Penn Guidance Department can now be found on Twitter. Take a look. The way that North Penn Guidance Twitter 
came about is that we've been trying to get something like this with social media going for a couple of years now. The ability to get information out to students and parents of what we're doing, um, the events we're having, the uh, course selection piece that we're, we're about to start, and also the um, when the finals are coming up and when they're ending and when students need to be on top of things according with academics and um, their course selection. And we'll be posting all that stuff on the Twitter feed for the information and when those events are going to happen. The course selection is probably the biggest thing that is why we wanted to start it at this particular time of the year and it's been very helpful to get some information out for for our students. Currently we won't be doing any two-way uh, talking back and forth between students, but if there is a question that a student or a parent posts, we will have a guidance counselor or the particular guidance counselor for that student or parent try to give that student or parent a call and answer that question. You can follow us at NPHS Guidance and uh, please Follow us, retweet us, let everybody know that we're out there and um, we're going to be passing on as much information as possible. Thank you. Dr. Dietrich and members of the administration team traveled to Pendale Middle School to present another Superintendent Honor Roll Award. Barb Sturgeon, the math department chair at Pendale, is the final recipient of this award for the 2013-2014 school year. Barb is involved in nearly every math-related committee and activity in the district. She is extremely dedicated to helping her students succeed and even helps students that she does not have in class. She joins the previous winners of this award, Cindy Danko and Rosemary Burbich, as a member of the Superintendent Honor Roll. Congratulations and thank you to Barb Sturgeon for all her contributions to the North Penn School District. The North Penn School District held various information nights for parents in January. Three of these information nights, the Keystone Testing Information Night, the North Penn High School Course Selection Night, and the 6th Grade Math Placement Overview are available for parents to watch on right here on North Penn Television, or you can log on to our YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash NPTV to watch all of these online at your fingertips 24 hours a day. The North Penn High School Key Club will be hosting the community's largest yard sale on Saturday, May 10th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pre-registration costs $25 for four parking spots. Walk-ins are also welcome and cost $30. For more information, contact Linda Law at the email on your screen. Buyers and sellers are both welcome at this event. Come out and support the NPHS Key Club at their annual yard sale this May. The 2014-2015 North Penn Extended School Care Program registration and information is now available. Registration will be held Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. starting April 14th at the Educational Services Center. Families can choose between before school care, after school care, or a flexible combination of both programs. The before school care program begins at 7 a.m. and includes breakfast, arts and crafts, and games. After school care begins at school dismissal time and includes homework time, arts and crafts, sports, and special projects. Registration for September 2014 will end on Thursday, July 31st, so register your child today. The North Penn School District announces centralized kindergarten registration for the 2014-2015 school year. Daytime and evening appointments are available starting March 24th through the beginning of April. You can register for an appointment online at npen.org or by calling the number on your screen. All registrations will take place at the Educational Services Center in Lansdale. All of the necessary information regarding kindergarten registration can be found online at npen.org, clicking for families and selecting kindergarten information. The North Penn community is invited to register for the Spring 2014 North Penn School District Community Education Program. Classes range from baking to dog training to aquatics, and there will also be 11 new classes taught this year, including Mosaics and Advanced Microsoft Word and Excel 2010. Classes have begun, but there are still opportunities to begin a class in April. You can register online at any time at northpennsep.org. Don't miss out on a great opportunity to learn something new and sign up for the NPSD Community Education Program today. Be our guest for a tale as old as time at North Penn High School's spring production of Disney's Beauty and the Beast on May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at 7.30 p.m. and May 4th at 2 p.m. Buy your tickets online at the website on your screen. 
Tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults. Support North Penn Theatre by coming to the Applebee's Pancake Character Breakfast on April 7th in North Wales from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. For only $7, you can meet and take pictures with Belle, Beast, Lumiere, Cogsworth, and other characters. To purchase tickets, contact Andrea Roney with the email on your screen. Don't miss out on seeing your favorite Disney characters come to life. Once again, the North Penn School District and Superintendent Dr. Curtis Dietrich are offering families the opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one about important issues involving North Penn District schools. There is only one more opportunity to participate in community conversation in the current school year. The last meeting will be held at the Educational Services Center in Lansdale on Tuesday, April 8th from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. Seats are limited. Please call the number on your screen to reserve your seat today. That is all for this edition of North Penn News. I'm Melissa Cubitt. And I'm Justine Ye. Just a reminder to check all of our programming on youtube.com backslash NPTV. We leave you with the winning act from the North Penn High School Talent Show. Have a good day. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag it, drop it, zip, unzip it, lock it, fill it, call it, find it, view it, code it, jam a lock it, surf it, scroll it, pause it, click it, cross it, crack it, switch, update it, name it, rate it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, press, rename it, plug it, play it, play it, watch it, tag it, watch it, The legend of the phoenix, yeah, all ends with beginnings. Ah, what keeps planets spinning? Ah, the force of love beginning. Ah, we've come too far to give.